Bielsa fans and your comrades are in the room, uh, thank you for joining us this evening. It's a real honor and pleasure. Uh, it's a shame you cannot be in the room with us, but you've done a few naughty things in your life for the Palestinian revolution. <laughs> Which has, uh, which has meant, uh, which has meant the uh, British authorities are not allowing you back into our, into our wonderful island. But take that as a compliment to your revolutionary uh, oh, yes. contribution more than anything yeah, yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, wonderful to see our, our martyred comrade Abu Ali Mustafa. And, and I remember when you spoke 12 years ago in London, uh, Leila, that you wore a big badge of Abu Ali Mustafa, who was one of the first martyrs and leaders of the sec second or Al-Aqsa Intifada. So Leila, you have about 15 minutes to make your contribution and then we will have some questions and answers, please. Thank you very much. Comrades, sisters and brothers, it's my pleasure to talk to you in this evening. I, on behalf of my people and myself, extend our warm greetings you all, in spite of all the sufferings and severe pain that Israel caused to us through its continuous aggression against our land and our people. Beside the siege of Gaza and the West Bank, since eight years, the continuous military attacks of this fascist state launched lately a brutal war against us, causing huge destruction to the houses and infrastructure, killing more than 2,000 people, including 500 children, 350 women, with more than 11,000 wounded. After 51 days of shelling, Israel used all kinds of weapons including the prohibited one as the dying weapon. More than 90 families were killed, totally killed, because their houses were destroyed by the heavy shelling over their heads. Israel intended to destroy not only the buildings and schools, electricity and water supplies, but also this brutal attack aimed to break the will of the Palestinians in resisting against such terrorist apartheid state called Israel. This time, our people resisted because first, it's our right to resist. Second, it's our right to defend ourselves. Third, we Palestinians deserve to live in peace and dignity over our land. Fourth, Israel is an occupant. Fifth, we refuse to be always the victims of such occupation. Six, we prove to be a people who wants to liberate our land from this hideous state that showed every time its Nazi face. In spite of all the sufferings and pains that are inflicted by Israel against us, we still are ready to continue our struggle against this injustice that beheld us since 66 years. Sisters and brothers, in this continuous conflict, we still look forward to your support that you always extended to us, which gives us more strength and patience to continue our legal and human struggle against the neo-Nazis represented by the Israeli state its and its supporters from the imperialists on top of them the, in, the U.S. imperialism and the West in general. No wonder that Israel launched this brutal aggression while the Arab countries are busy in their crisis. Moreover, it was the imperialists who created the terrorist groups to play a role in destroying the Arab societies by using the religion as a main tool to cover the real intentions of this destruction, whether in Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, Libya, Yemen, and other countries. The IS, 
the Islamic State is an American industry. This is mentioned bluntly in Hillary Clinton's book. This Islamic State is the Al-Qaeda system that was founded by the same Americans. The late was meant for Afghanistan and Pakistan, and the new Islamic State is for the Arabs. The question that arises, why now? With no doubt, the Zionist American plan is very clear. First, to end all kinds of resistance in this region, mainly the Palestinian resistance, and to end the idea of resistance by inflicting all kinds of sufferings and by launching revolution, uh, re launching wars against us here and there. Second, to redivide the region according to the imperialist Zionist interests based on religious, secular basis <clears throat> to guarantee the existence of a strong Jewish state in Palestine. Third, to establish the new Middle East according to their vision and interest. Fourth, to ensure the flow of oil and gas for decades from the, this region without any obstacles, such as uprisings or revolutions. Fifth, to put this region under the imperialist Zionist control for decades to come. Comrades, we know very well what plans are drawn to implement those goals. But let me tell you that imperialists always forget the strength and the will of the people to face those plans. I hereby call upon you to raise your voices with us and your fists in the face of those imperialists, declaring that we will end their brutality and terrorism against our people and our children who are our future. Let's work together, unite against such injustice. We are in the uh, 21st uh, uh, century, and there should be no imperialists again in this century. It means that we have to also to uh, draw our plans to, to face them and to face their plans against us. It means that we have to create the means to face them. The first thing is that it's our right for armed struggle in Palestine to end the Israeli occupation. This is our legal right, and no one can prevent us from doing it. Second, you are the ones to support those people who are the victims of this occupation, and we will never accept to be always the victims, it's time for us and for you to prove our humanity that we are the ones who can build a human world for human beings and not for the prosecutors to govern us anymore. In this century, we have to end the last and the, the, uh, le the uh, longest occupation in history. It's the Israeli occupation to, to Palestine. Anyhow, we are proud being Palestinians. We are proud that we are freedom fighters. We are proud of you because you are supporting us and you are always with us. We shall overcome. We will win one day because you are with us. We are the defenders of freedom and liberty. Uh, liberty. Thank you very much.